We come to Ipikak. Ipikak is another one of our medicines for children asthma. Our top three for children asthma we have done, Ipikak, Natrum, Sulf and Bacillinum. These are top three for children asthma. Ipikak, Natrum, Sulf and Bacillinum. You got that? Ipikak, medicine number six. Now, Ipikak, many people neglect this medicine and not prescribe it for asthma. But it has got an excellent action, especially for children asthma, where you have a lot of constricted feeling in the chest. So, whenever there is a lot of constricted feeling in the chest with children asthma, Ipikak is a wonderful medicine. Whatever the kind of constriction, if you think of cactus of for heart disease, same kind of constriction you will get for Ipikak in lung diseases. So, if you remember cactus, it feels constricted, it feels caged in the heart. Similar kind of constriction you will get for Ipikak, especially for respiratory or lung diseases. So, the chest feels congested, chest feels constricted, that is important for your Ipikak. With lot of mucus in the chest, with lot of phlegm in the chest. So, there is a lot of mucus, there is a lot of rattling. It comes very close to antim tart. If you remember antim tart, there is a lot of mucus, there is a lot of phlegm in the chest. So, how to differentiate with antim tart? In case of antim tart, if you remember antim tart, although there is a lot of mucus in the chest, they are drowsy, they are sleepy. It is a condition almost like cyanosis, it is like blueness, pale, it is almost like the end stage where they are almost dying. So much mucus, cannot breathe, drowsy and sleepy. But although Ipika can have nearly the same amount of mucus, not the same as antim tart, but there is no sleepiness or drowsiness which you find with antim tart. You are with me? And thirdly, for Ipikak, you will get a lot of hemorrhage as well. It is a hemorrhagic medicine. So, even with the cough, even with the expectoration, blood is coming out in Ipikak. In Ipikak. So, three things for Ipikak I shared with you. Wonderful medicine for children asthma with a lot of constricted feeling in the chest. Same kind of constriction, like the chest is feeling constricted. What you get with cactus and heart disease, you will get that with Ipikak in lung diseases. A, B, I shared with you for Ipikak, a lot of mucus in the chest, a lot of phlegm rattling in the chest in acute conditions and chronic conditions. Very close to antim tart, but it does not have the drowsiness, it does not have the sleepiness which you get with antim tart. You are with me? And thirdly, for Ipikak, it is a hemorrhagic medicine. So, you will get a lot of hemoptysis and hemorrhage as well in Ipikak. So, whenever they cough, it brings out a lot of hemorrhage. Have a quick look in Borike for Ipikak, please. It's a, there is a line Borike, hemoptysis from slightest exertion. So, the easy tendency to bleeding from the lungs. So, difference with antim tart, the drowsiness, the sleepiness is not present in Ipikak. Did you get that? Hemoptysis from slightest exertion under respiratory probably. So, even little amount of exertion, even in children, they are bringing out blood, they are coughing out blood. Another medicine which comes very close to Ipikak is phosphorus, because phosphorus can have a lot of heaviness in phosphorus is not like constricted feeling, it is more like, like somebody is sitting on my chest, an elephant is sitting on my chest, I feel oppressed, I feel heavy, I cannot breathe. So, it is more like somebody is sitting on my chest, something heavy is on my chest, that is the expression with phosphorus will tell you. But phosphorus is oppression, heaviness is more this side, left side. Whereas in Ipika, it can be all throughout the chest, it feels constricted, it feels tight. But phosphorus will tell you somebody is sitting on my chest. It's that kind of heaviness in phosphorus, more left-sided. You're with me. So you got the mucus in the lungs. You got the hemorrhage. You got the constriction. But above them all, or along with them all, what Ipikak will always have is nausea. It, it can be in gastric diseases, it can be in respiratory diseases, 
your epicac will always 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 have the persistent and continual nausea that's the constant concomitant You're with me? So that's important for your epicac. So remember the differentiation with phosphorus, remember the differentiation with anti tart. But obviously in any of none of them, you will have the constant nausea. That's important. That's the differentiation with all of them. So even in respiratory diseases, he's having a constant nausea. That's important. Yeah, can be, yeah, yeah, can be bright red as well, yes. So that's about epicacs asthma.